Okay, let us get started. So, we're going to start with feet hip width apart. And we're just going to start by just doing a little warm up. So, let's just check our alignment. Feet facing forward. Second toe in line with ankles. Ankles in line with your knees. Knees in line with your hips. All right, we're going to do the shoulders up, back, and around. 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 And up, back, and around. You're going to inhale to bring the arms up. And exhale, reaching out to the side. So inhale, lifting up. And exhale out. Let's take some nice deep breaths. Yes, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, up. And exhale out. Inhale up. And exhale out. Good. Inhale up. And exhale out. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale out. Let's go the other way. Squeeze the shoulders together at the back. Bring them up and forward. So squeeze up and over. Squeeze up and over. Squeeze up. And over. So just mobilizing the shoulders. We're releasing tension from the neck. And over. Two more. And over. And squeeze up and over. Now deep breath in, arms out to the side. And exhale forward. Inhale out. And exhale forward. Inhale out. And forward. So just getting that breathing going. We're going to get the oxygen in the body, preparing ourselves for the work. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. All right. So we're going to go straight into legs. And then I'm going to come back and do a little bit of arm work as well. So you're going to have your right foot forward. Hands can be on the hips. Hopefully you can see me. I'm just checking my screen. Yeah. So right foot forward. You're going to try and keep your hips level. And what often happens is when we lift a leg, we kind of hitch a hip up. All right. So you want that hip down, but you're going to raise the foot just off the floor. So we're already into our balance challenge. And now you're just going to flex the foot, point the toes. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point, and four, three, two, one, and point, and come down. Let's go on to the other side. So I'm going to progress up in difficulty. So we're starting off slow. Let's lift the leg up just off the ground, and then we're going to flex and point, flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. And four, three, two, one, and point, and down. Back to the right leg. Lift that leg up. Now we're going to circle the ankle. So going out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to go in, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Bring that foot down. Go on to the other side. So lifting up, circling out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're probably already feeling that a little bit in the hips. A lot of the work I'm going to do is going to work the hips as well. So I'm going to go sideways just so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to have your feet hip width apart. All right. We want to keep our back nice and straight, but we're going to hinge forward. So as we hinge forward, we're sitting back with the bottom. Okay. Arms coming forward and lifting up. So you're going to inhale, bend and up. Inhale, bend and up. Bend and up, bend and up, and four, three, two, one. You're going to hold it down, hold it here, nice and long. We're going to do little pulses, a little bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coming up, hopefully you felt that a little bit in front of the thighs, yeah, let's do that a second time, so knee bends, inhale, bend, and exhale, up, bend, and up, bend, and up, so sit that bottom back, that sit back nice and long, trying to line that neck as well, three, two, one, hold it here, and then we're going to pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coming up, give those legs a little shake up, hopefully you felt that, I know I did, so hopefully you did as well, give those just a little legs a shake out, all right, and then we're going to come back and we're going to have our feet together like this, we do a little bit of work for the hips, so you're going to have the hands on the hips, and I want you to go from feet together to feet apart. So you're just working from the hips. So I know, Benny, you sent me a little bit of message. This one's really good for you, okay? So just work within your own sort of capability and come back. So returning out from the hip, you should feel the bottom muscles working. So if you put the hand on the back of the bottom here, if I do a back shot for you, you want to feel it around here and back. So you're going to open and back, open and back, open and back, open and back, open and back. Now you're going to open and stay open there. And you're going to have the hands on the hips. So now we're going to do a bend and a straighten. And this time we're working a bit more through the inner thighs. So think of really drawing those inner thighs together. So you bend, and then as you come back together, it's like you've got two magnets, bring those thighs together. Bend and up, bend and up, bend and up, bend and up. And four, three, two, one, hold it down. What are you going to do? We're going to pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming up. Let's do the roll of the shoulders. Have a little breather. Hands back on the hips, let's do that again. So we're going to bend and straighten. So think knees over the toes. So you want this sense that the knees are going out as you bend. That's it. And up. Bend and up. Bend and up. Bend and up. Bend and up. And four, three, two, one, let's hold it here, little pulses, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and coming up, well done, let's bring those feet back in, and we're going to have them back to hip width apart. And we're going to have a little challenge on our balance now. So here we go. We're going to bend the knees. Stick with me for this one and bring the arms forward. Even I find this difficult. All right, so we're going to bend those knees. Now you're going to try and lift your heels. You might feel a bit shaky in the thighs. Pull the tummy muscles in. Now try and lift everything up with the heels up. Up, 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 oh, I'm touching the ceiling, and then lower the heels down and bring the arms down. Okay, so you're going to bend the knees, lift the heels, 
keeping that bottom down, okay? So that's where you're getting that work in the knees. Pushing up, this is back of the legs and bottom, and down. Let's try that again. We're going to bend, lift the heels, straighten the legs, and lower. Bend, lift the heels, straighten the legs, and lower. Bend, lift the heels, straighten the legs, and lower. Bend, lift the heels, up, and lower. Keep going. Lift, and lower. It gets easier as you go faster, doesn't it? Lift, up, and lower. Bend, lift, up, and lower. One more, bend, and lift, up, and lower. Okay, so we've got to do it the other way around now, so we're going to reverse it. All right, this one, when you do this, you've got to think of keeping your spine really long, yeah? If you round forward with your shoulders, or you stick your bottom out, you're going to lose your balance, all right? So here we go. We're lifting up, arms up, and we're on our toes. Now think of those arms elongating, and think of them reaching up as you bend your knees and sink down. All right, so we've got our heels up. Now we're going to lower arms and heels together, like so, and straighten the legs. All right, so we're going to lift up, heels up, arms up, bend the knees, keeping the heels up. You may be shaking a little in those legs. Heels and arms down, and straighten. All right, let's go a little bit faster. So we're going to lift, we're going to bend, lower, and straighten, lift, bend, lower, and straighten, lift, bend, lower, doing great, let's keep going up, and bend, lower, and straighten, lift, bend, lower, and straighten, lift, bend, lower, and straighten, and lift, Bend, lower, and straighten. All right, really, really good. Okay, so we're going to go back to the first one. We're going to bend, and we're going to lift the heels. It's got our heels lifted, and we're going to try and do little pulses. So I'm going to go sideways so you can see me like this. We're going to do little pulses. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there. Now push on up, all the way up. Keep the heels in the air. Keep coming up, keep coming up. Arms out to the side and lower down. All right, give those legs a shake. And then we've got to do it in reverse, haven't we? So here we go. I'll do this one facing. It's going to be in principle pretty much the same. So feet hip width apart. Let's lift one up. So up we go. Bending the knees. Try and keep the knees over the toes, arms in the air. Can you see my position? And now we're going to pulse here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, and then come all the way down. Well done. All right, shake those legs out. So hopefully, you felt now you've got that little bit of work down the leg around the knees. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of work to the side. Now we'll come back to some other stuff after. So standing with the feet hip width apart once again, hands on the hips. And I want you to transfer that weight over into the left leg. Can you see how my weight changes? So my weight is now on this leg. So this leg is free to kind of do anything, all right? So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to lift that hip off the floor. So we're hitching the hip a little, and then we're going to come out and down. Out and down. Lift and lower. So I'm not touching the floor. It's in the air and going just out 
and back. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Well, I'm a bit wobbly now. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and stop. Let's go to the other side. Just getting used to that position. So leaning into, or not leaning into, but standing on this right leg. Okay, and then here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. Coming down. Well done. We're going to go on to the first side. And we're going to try and add some pulses now. So we're going to start with the foot out because I think it's an easier place to start. All right. Hands on the hips. And I want you to roll those shoulders back and down. So we've got really good posture because this is what's working our back. It's also working the core because you're having to stand up. So have that feeling of really long through the spine. And we're going to lift the leg up. We're going to do pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Change to the other leg. Here we go, lifting up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Did you feel that on the hips? You probably did. Okay, so we're going to do just a little stretch. So Benny, I wouldn't do anything too extreme on this one. All right, so what we're going to do is cross the leg over. So if you've had any kind of hip uh, replacement or hip procedures, probably best for you not to do this one. All right, just because we're crossing the leg over. So you're going to cross that leg over and take the arms out to the side and then you're going to hinge forward with a straight back, hinging forward, hinging forward, hinging forward. It's going to challenge your balance. You're going to bring your hands down, touching the floor, and then head down, just a nice little stretch. So you can do this if you've had hip procedures. You can just do this with the legs side by side. All right, and then from there, you're going to draw the tummy in, press into the feet. These will challenge. Take the arms out, and then come back up. All right, let's do the other way. So, one leg over, tummy muscles in, arms out to the side, and then hinging from the hips. I'm going to go sideways so you can see the movement sideways. All right, we're hinging forward from the hips. Hinging, 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 until you can reach the floor with your fingertips. Hopefully you'll get there. If not, you can hold on to the legs. And then just having a little stretch there. We're going to draw the tummy in, taking the arms out to the side, and then lifting all the way back up. Not so easy, is it, that one? Okay. All right, so we're going to take the leg back out to the side, and I'm going to try and work inner thigh. So just on the outer thigh, now we're going to do the inner thigh. So what you're going to do is have the hands on the hips. Actually, let's take the arms out. It might be easier to balance. And palms up. And then what you're going to do is lift the leg up and flex the foot. And you're going to take the leg across like so. And it's just a little lift. So it's like diagonally in front. So if I go sideways, if I do it this way, if I go sideways to you, it's just coming in front like this. And then I'm doing a lift. So the leg is turned out and I'm lifting from the center of the thigh, lifting up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring that leg down. Let's go on to the other leg. Okay, so other leg. Here we go. And lifting up so the leg is turning out. So we're lifting from here. Lift two. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, well done, all right, give those legs a little shake, and now we're going to come into a wide position, knees facing forward, how are we doing for time, we're doing great, okay, so knees facing forward, and I want them really wide, all right? I'm gonna go sideways so you can see. And then what we're gonna do is a really nice squat, so reaching out. You go as deep as you feel comfortable going, all right? So we're gonna bend and lift up. Sit the bottom back and lift up. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Bend and lift. Bend and up. Four, four. Three, two, one, hold it here, little pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, try and go a little lower. And then lifting all the way up. Well done, shake those legs out. Okay, now we're going back out to a wide position. Hopefully you're all still okay. And you're gonna turn your feet out. So again, we're turning out from the hips and the feet follow. So the idea is now when you bend your knees, your knees will still be going over second toe. All right, and I want you to bend as deep as you can go, bring the arms up and press down. So you're going to bend and up. Inhale and exhale. Bend and up. Good, I'm getting hot. Bend and up. Bend and up. For four, three, two, and one. Side stretch, gonna bring the arm up. Nice stretch, over, lift and lower. Other way, up and over, lift and lower. And up and over, lift and lower. 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 Last one. Lift. And low. And we do second set. So we're going to bend and up. Bend and up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And four, three, two, one. Side stretch. Lift up and over. Lift and lower down. And up and over. Lift and lower down. That's it, nice deep breaths. Lift and lower. Up and over. Lift and lower down. Up and over. Lift and lower down. Last two. And down. Up and over. Lift and down. Now you're going to stay in that turned out position. You're going to bend your knees, oh, quite out of breath, bending your knees, making sure knees are over toes and hands on the hips. And what we're going to do is try and turn the knee back. So if I go sideways, it might be easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm bending here, and this knee, I'm going to try and take it back, back, like that. Can you see? Back and back. So it's working all the bottom muscles. Back, back, and back. Good. And four, three, two, one, and you're going to do the other knee. So I'm just going to turn to face you. So other knee going back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's repeat on this side, going back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change sides back. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Now we're going to do four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, two, four, two. And single, 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 single. Now lower yourself down a little deeper. Don't come up. Come and stay down if you can. And we're going to do little pulses here. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower down as low as you can. And come back up. Ooh, a little bit of side burn. Lovely, give those legs a little shake. All right, so now I'm gonna go sideways, just so you can see. We're gonna work a little bit more on the back here, on the hamstring. So you're gonna take that leg behind you. All right, so right leg in your case, right leg behind you. And you're gonna draw the tummy in and do a slight lean forward. And you're gonna have your hands out, just for a bit of balance. We want the leg completely parallel, so you don't wanna turn it out We'll do that in a minute, but right now, leg is straight. I want you to feel it through the back of the leg. So you're just going to do a little lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. So you're trying to feel the pull and the lift from the glute and the hamstring. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, Two, one, bring that leg down. Let's go on to the other side. So other leg, here we go. Oh, I'm getting hot, this is good. And we're gonna do a lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. And four, three, two, one, and bring that leg down. Now take the first leg back, the right leg, and this time, what I want you to do is turn the leg out from the hip. So you feel a kind of opening slightly here, which you can feel that bottom muscle working quite hard there. All right, and we're going to take the arms forward. We're going to flex the foot, and we're going to do a lift and lower. Lift, so really flex the foot. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and, lower. and four. Three, two, one. Coming down, taking the other leg back. All right. So left leg behind you, arms forward. Now raise that leg up, turn it out, and flex the foot. Then you're going to do lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. Come back onto the other side. Now what we're going to do is a movement forward and back. All right. So what we're going to do is let me show you. When the leg comes forward, I want the leg to be turned out like this. All right. So we're getting inner thigh work as it comes forward. <clears throat> and as you go back, it's the outer thigh and it's the uh, glute as well. So you're keeping the leg Turned out and it's going to swing forward and back, all right? But very controlled. Very important with Pilates. We control everything so we work the muscles correctly. So you're going to start with the foot forward. And you can have your hands wherever you want. I'm going to have them on my hips because I feel it helps me focus. You're going to lift that foot up. You're going to flex it. You're going to make sure that leg is turned out. And then you're going to swing it back and swing it forward. Swing it back. And forward, trying to keep that balance. Back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Two more. Back and forward and back and forward. Well done. It's not easy, is it, that one? All right, let's do the other side. So turning that foot out, flexing the foot. All right, getting your balance, so draw your tummy in, lift off that standing leg. We're going to take it back and forward, back and forward, back 
and forward, back and forward, four, four, three, two, one, forward and down. Now keeping that same idea of the leg turned out, how are we doing for time? Oh, we better finish actually. Let's just do this to finish. We're going to turn the leg out and we're going to lift it up. So you're going to lift it up, turned out, and lower it down. So we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Take the arms up in the air. Little pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Oh, my goodness, I haven't done that for ages. Wow, okay, here we go. Hands on the hips, lifting up and down, up and down. Lift and lower. So the leg is turned out and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and hold. All right, so we're going to draw the tummy muscles in. We're going to come up with those arms. Little pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Well done. Shake those legs out. All right. I think we've got to stop there. I could do easily do another half an hour because I'm just getting into it now. But let's leave it there for today. Let's just do a nice Pilates roll down to finish. So let's have the feet hip width apart. Just relax those shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna take the chin to the chest, bend the knees, and gently roll down through the spine. Just letting the head hang, the arms hang. And then you're gonna inhale there. Exhale, draw the tummy muscles in. And coming all the way back up. Good, deep breath in. And exhale, chin to the chest. And rolling down. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back up. And one more deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Bending the knees. Coming down. And inhale. Exhale, coming all the way back up. Well done. Good work, everybody. I know that was tough. Well, I think it was tough. It was tough for me. <laughs> all right, I'm going to come and sit down now and talk to you all so you can fire off any questions you may have. And hopefully that felt all right. Okay. Right, so we did today, just to recap, what that was today was a combination of standing Pilates for legs, hips, calf muscles. Oh, my husband's here. Thank you very much, darling. Uh, standing Pilates, yes. Yeah, so legs, hips, glutes. We did all the joints of the legs. So we did the toes, the ankles, the knees, the hips. Uh, very, very um, challenging, I think. Um, so I'm just looking at the chat. Barbara, what has gone wrong with your camera today? Oh, uh, my camera looks fine, Barbara. It might be your Wi-Fi, because uh, I'm just looking at it and it's reading that it's going through. Um, so it might be your Wi-Fi, Madeline. Uh, maybe uh, you can have a look at this and we upload it later and see if that works for you. I know some Wi-Fi has been going a bit funny lately, hasn't it? Because there's a part of London where the Wi-Fi went down completely. Um, Mark, the body weight challenges are certainly, pulses are challenging, yes. <laughs> Glad you feel nice and warm. Yeah, that was. I feel boiling now because uh, I haven't done that stuff for a little while. You forget, don't you, when you're in lockdown because I teach sort of Pilates 
every day anyway to sort of uh, uh, on Zoom, which is kind of live classes that people pay for. And those are my, a lot of those are my London clients. So of course, anyone can come now. So if you do want to come to those, then you can always check out my website, rachellawrencepilates.com. That's got my live classes. But that particular workout I did today, um, I haven't done for quite a while. And I do, it's reminded me actually that we really need to do quite more standing work, don't we? Which is why I do have a lot of standing workouts on the channel. So thanks for trying that today because it's a little bit different, wasn't it, to my usual uh, workouts. So I'm just going to have a quick look. Oh, I see lots of chat coming in now. So just going to go for the top. Ellie, and J Ellie, Jane and Sue, you are first timers. I hope you found it okay. Today was deliberately a challenge. I'm calling it my lockdown uh, leg workout because I've noticed my legs are not as strong because I'm just not walking as much because we're all confined, aren't we, to our houses, although it's gone a little bit better now, I know. Um, but yes, lockdown legs, that's what it was. So before I go on, if you enjoyed it today, would you please press that thumbs up, that like button, because it really does help me kind of get noticed by YouTube. And as you know, I've been doing this for free for you all for three months now. And I'm happy to do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to do it. Uh, but I would like to try and get the channel to grow because eventually that means I will make a wage from it and I'll be able to do it all the time. So anything you can do to either like it, share it with your friends, uh, or subscribe. Also, subscribing really, really helps. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And all it means is that when I put something new on the channel or when I'm going live, you'll get a little notification. So uh, subscribing really helps me too. So thank you for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Just looking at with a side leg raised. Cows, how is it with a side leg raised? Where are you supposed to feel it? Okay, yes, the side leg work. So we've got the muscles. Oh, obviously, we all know about our thigh muscles on our hamstrings, I think, don't we? But what's often neglected in a lot of uh, training uh, that I've seen uh, is the muscles on the side of the leg and the outside of the hip and the muscles on the inside of the leg because you've got muscles all the way around your legs, not just front and back. And the side ones, because they're not used very much and because they're slightly different in the the length and where they are, they're, they're not sort of a big muscle. They're more of a smaller muscle group. You don't feel them in the same way. Like we all felt that thigh burn today, didn't we? And it's, it, they call the thighs, they're global muscles. They're big muscles. So you can really feel when you're working them. You can't necessarily feel the side ones when they're working, but it doesn't mean they're not. All right, that particular exercise, taking the leg out to the side, you would have felt somewhere between the knee and the waist. It could be anywhere along there. All right, so that's where you, you're supposed to feel it. And it is working, even if you think it's not, guarantee you it is working. You will feel it in a couple of days, hopefully. Uh, breathing, why do we do the breathing method? Um, well, I could talk for an hour on breathing, but um, Joseph Pilates, who, quick sum up, I'm sure a lot of you know now, he was German, he was born in the late 1880s, he was a fitness sort of guru. He was a Mr. Universe in 1920 something. Um, but he uh, was very um, asthmatic. He was asthmatic when he was born and he had a lot of problems with asthma in his early life. And I think, although this is not documented, but I think this is probably where he got the idea for the breathing from. But breathing we do in Pilates is to emphasize um, the engagement of the deep core muscles. And if you go to my channel, you'll see I've got a video called How to Engage Your Core Muscles. And that has a sort of a visual. You can see what I'm doing. You can see the muscles that are working. So do go have a look at that because it will explain it much more clearly than I can in a, a few seconds today. But the breathing is to emphasize engagement of the core because what a lot of people sort of don't do is when they're doing something or exerting themselves whether that's lifting a suitcase or a heavy weight at the gym or whatever it might be they're not engaging here in the core and so what often happens is you get strains and stresses in the back 
And it's, you know, the core is there, or the core is muscles all the way around the body. It's not just the front, the tummy, it's all the way around. But they're there to support all our internal organs. So the idea of the breathing is to emphasize the engagement of the core, but also to work the core muscles. So if you're strong in the center, then you can lift your arm, your leg, that's easy, right? But if you're not strong in the center, lifting the arms and legs as you would have found today can be quite challenging. And you saw even with me, I was wobbling because it does get to a level where it is really challenging. So that's why we do the breathing, mostly to encourage engagement of the deep core muscles. And secondly, it's very calming. It's very good for your mind, it brings you into kind of real focus, okay? So I hope that helps you. Uh, hello, Joan in Melbourne. Wow, over in Australia, lovely to have you. Russ from Elgin, hello, Russ. Uh, Tiona, I think I said hello, didn't I? Chris, you love the class, it's great to hear. Right, I'm gonna have a quick look at the bottom at the messages coming in, because I know you've all been writing in. Um, so do bear with me while I go through. Let me just go back to where we started. Uh, da, 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 da. And yes, it was a challenging class. I know some of you said it's challenging. Obviously, the thing when I am uh, teaching on a Friday, this is YouTube, so I can't see you. I don't know who you are, what you look like, what your fitness level is. When I teach live classes live on Zoom, it's different because I see everyone that's there. I know what their issues are, and I can kind of create a class focused on those people. So that's why those classes are paid for classes because they're much more bespoke. Obviously on YouTube, I'm just trying to give you something different every week and some things will work, some things won't work or some things will be too challenging. But you know, the way I look at it is life is about a challenge. If you can't do it, then you just sit it out and you come back and you join in when you can. Um, that's the way I look at everything. So I always think give it a go and if it's too much, then that's fine. You know, that's absolutely fine. Uh, right, I'm just going back, da, 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 back to the beginning. Hi, Sumi, Chris, Russ, we've just spoken, haven't we? Uh, Kieran, Sue, hopefully Sue Cook, that was good for you. Ellie, you've been here for three months, have you, Ellie? That's absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed all the different things that we've done, and there are many, many more to come. Uh, Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going back into, uh, okay, we've done the breathing, Joan, very chilly in Melbourne. Oh, well, I hope that warmed you up, Joan, because that was quite, quite a workout, wasn't it? Um, Keisha, oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Keisha says, thank you for inspiring me so much. You're beautiful. Thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. All right. Uh, Sue me, yes, uh, stenosis, you have spinal stenosis. Um, that should be fine with today. The only thing you wouldn't do is the roll down, but all the leg work, completely fine because the back is straight. So that would be fine for you. Uh, Madeline, great workout, you worked up a sweat, yes. <laughs> all right, jolly good, uh, fabulous. Um, Picture blurred, uh, Ranjit. That might be uh, that I do have an autofocus because obviously I'm here in the studio on my own, don't have a camera crew. It's just me doing everything and my husband's out in the other room uh, in between work trying to help. So uh, there's an autofocus on the camera. So you might see it momentarily, it goes in and out and then it resets the focus. Maybe that's what it was. Uh, Ellie, your sweetheart, thank you very much. I do my best for you all, I really do. Thank you, Anne, Geraldine. What's the best way to cool down after this? Well, Geraldine, the best way to cool down is just to do some shoulder rolls, some roll downs like we did to the end. And just what I would suggest is go for a little walk, five minute walk, let your heart rate come down. And that's fine, that's more than enough. Uh, Sue, you wish you looked as graceful as me. Oh, thank you. Well, that's years of dancing, years of ballet. Uh, Alison, that was tough. Yes, it was a tough one. I agree. It was very tough. Uh, I'm glad you worked out. Perfect, Terry. Good. Great session. Caroline, is it okay to use a chair for balance? Absolutely. 
you know what? If you can, if you find it difficult to balance, but you want to give it a go with a chair, then give it a go with a chair. You know, one thing we always do in Pilates is we do try uh, and modify things. And obviously it's harder on YouTube, but in classes, you know, we use whatever props we need really to make it work for you. Uh, a place you could do it if you've got rooms in the kitchen, because the kitchen counter is actually quite a good level for your arm. But yeah, or a really sturdy wooden chair, absolutely go for it. That sounds really good. Russ, uh, oh, you found it too hard. Uh, okay, Russ, well, you probably, if it was too hard, what I would say is try and do some of it, um, because with workouts, you know, it's good to, I've actually had lots, uh, quite a lot. I think this week, maybe 10, 15 people have written to me who've been doing the senior workouts and now graduated on to my other standing workouts. So what you could do, Russ, is do the, go onto the channel and look for my standing workouts on there not the seniors ones, the other ones, and give those a go. And there's a few in there, um, and they are probably, they are definitely gentler and slower than the one I did today. So um, why not have a look at that? There's one that's called Standing Workout for uh, Balance Coordination and Core Control, something like that, uh, which is it's the same background as this. Why not try that and see how that goes, okay? Uh, Jane, you just found me by accident today. Challenging, but you enjoyed it. Well, good. That's great. You know what? What I love about you guys is that you say it's challenging because that means it's going to stretch you further. It's going to get you stronger because the one thing that I think people find difficult when you have an exercise for a while is when something's really challenging, you think, oh, I can't do this. But actually, just trying even the first exercise, yeah, challenging yourself, that's part of getting fit, healthy, and well, and having that kind of uh, sense of well-being. That's what I carry through my life all the time, even if something's difficult. Like today, you saw me wobbling a bit, but I'm just going to keep going because if you don't challenge yourself, you can't grow. Yeah. And that's physically as well as mentally. So, you know, go for the challenge. If it's causing you pain, absolutely don't do it. But if it's just challenging, try it, do your best. And that's good enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. But well done. Well done. Well done. Super duper. Andy. Your knees do you exercising. I hope your knees are okay, Andy. Go and have a nice rest now. It's almost coffee time, isn't it? Virgo. Hello, Virgo. Virgo's over in Ireland. No, you're not. You're in Portugal, aren't you still? Yes. Great workout. You realize your balance is as good as it used to be, but you're glad to be alerted to that. Yeah. So that's a really, really good point from Virgo there, everyone, is that Balance is something uh, we do lose with age. Um, and it's not about being old or feeling old or being older. It is just what happens biologically. Balance goes. Balance particularly goes if you don't work at it. Like any exercise, you know, you can't get fit, healthy and strong if you don't work at it. So it's really important. That's why I put a lot of these sorts of exercises in like we did today. Today was very challenging, but it was to challenge legs, glutes but also your balance because we don't want to walk around in life falling over do we we want to better go out with confidence do whatever we want climb a hill get on a bus get on the train you know all that stuff when life gets back to normal and balance is a big part of us keeping independent keeping strong so you know don't be scared by it. use a chair or just keep trying it, keep doing it and keep doing it. And you will find very quickly, it will improve. They did a study very quickly, because I'm going to sign off shortly, but they did a study in America with a group of people who are in their 80s and 90s. And they gave them a 10-week program of exercise, which included uh, balance work, standing exercises. Nothing crazy, just simple exercises. And they wanted to see, number one, if their muscles could grow and get stronger, and number two, if their balance improved. And in every single case, it did. So it goes to show it doesn't matter what your age is, you can get stronger at any age. You can improve your fitness at any age. 
All right. So do keep that in mind and just keep yourselves going. OK, uh, Susan, uh, the picture looks wrong. Oh, I don't know why that is, Susan, because it looks all right on mine. But I will have a check later. Could be your Wi-Fi because um, the pictures I've got a sort of a I'm looking at it here and it looks OK. But who knows? Uh, Lindsay, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm always happy to share with you. And Catherine Walters, such small movements, such hard work. Yes. <laughs> I know. Those little pulses, they're killers, aren't they? Uh, Sue, bad knees. Okay, well, yeah, bad knees. We did work the knee joint today. So you can do those. But if you've got arthritis in your knees, I must tell you, Sue, and anyone else who's got bad knees, I have filmed for you this week. I'm just trying to up, get it sorted now, edited a video, which is Pilates for the knees. So it's all the exercises which are gentle, but will work with mobilizing and getting you stronger around the knees. So the muscles of the knees, the muscles below and above. And that is a gentle, but quite focused workout. In fact, I can still feel it in my legs uh, from doing it the other day. So I've got a mat work one. I've got one sitting in a chair, so you don't even have to stand up for that one. It's all exercises sitting in a chair. And I've got a little vlog. So I film them all this week, and I'll be editing them over the weekend. So I'll try and get them up on the channel within the next seven days. So do look out for those, okay, Sue? Uh, hey, Brenda from Nottingham. Yes, it's a bit blurred, I know, because we're live streaming, it's a different sort of look. Uh, the, the, you know, the good thing is, I'm live, I'm here now, but yes, it's not the same as when I pre-film things. Unfortunately, that's just live streaming. A lot of it depends on your broadband and your Wi-Fi. Um, if, you if you've got slow Wi-Fi, you'll find it hard to see. If your Wi-Fi is uh, up to speed, it's, it should be very minor delay, you know, so sorry about that. I'm afraid there isn't much I can do about that. Uh, Keisha. Good question. Can I mix yoga moves with this general exercise moves? Yes, you can. Yoga, there's nothing wrong with yoga. Yoga is a uh, flexibility work, isn't it? So, yes, you know, my advice is, uh, Keisha, you do what feels good for you. If you enjoy yoga, do your yoga and try and get in some of the core work as well. Because I think with Pilates, we're more focused on core engagement and control and strength. And I think yoga is more flexibility, isn't it? As well as obviously there's a lot more uh, a spiritual aspect to yoga, but it's a lot more stretching that, but not necessarily the control, although I'm not a yoga expert, so don't shoot me down if I'm wrong, okay? But yes, absolutely, mix it up, why not? Um, absolutely fine. Uh, Pauline, oh, you're very welcome. Thank you very much, Emir. Really glad you liked it. You found the hinge pulse is difficult as your back was tight. Yeah, because they really kind of stretch the lower back, don't they? But well done for doing it. That's really, really good. Anna, you're very, oh, yeah, you got your heart rate up. Well done. Well, that's super duper. I'm just going through, so I don't want to miss anyone this week because I missed somebody last week. Margaret, you enjoyed it. A great workout. Some core exercise is challenging. You'll do it again when you upload it. Yeah, I'll try and get that uploaded for you over the weekend. Um, fabulous. Jules, you got wobbly legs. Yay, wobbly legs. Yeah, mine are a little bit wobbly as well now. Uh, Anne, you really loved it. They're helping you. Fantastic. Anne from London. Very good. Uh, Jane, challenging as you had a problem with your balance after your stroke. Also shoulder impingement but you made it through to the end well there you go look at that everyone here's jane with all these issues and she did it so jane well done that's really really good and you know what if your balance is a bit off you could always put the chair on the side you feel more comfortable with to do it but the fact you did it is absolutely brilliant with your shoulder impingement i'm sure you know jane but you just don't lift your arm past the point where it hurts so if it means you just have your arm coming here rather than all the way up that's fine but I applaud you that's so brilliant Pip great you're 67 you needed more of a challenge yes <laughs> and the cause the important part yeah there's all that work that we did today 
was core work. Now, it doesn't feel like it, does it, to some of you, because you can't feel your abs burning. But the whole point of core work is, is, is core, our core is what keeps us upright, essentially. So having to do work standing and moving an arm or lifting a leg or balancing, that kind of stuff, that is all working your core all the way around. So a really good one to repeat. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fabulous. Well, I'm going to sign off now. Oh, my goodness. There's so many more things coming in. Brenda, you liked it. You challenged your balance. Good. All right. Just be careful with that knee, Brenda. I uh, hope you heard what I just said, that we've got a Pilates for knee pain coming up, which I've pre-recorded. That will be coming out very soon within the next seven days. So I would really recommend you go and do that one because it's going to really help you especially if you're due a new knee replacement it's going to strengthen all the muscles around the knee but it's not going to hurt the knee joint today is quite hard for knees so you might want to ease up on that all right uh tony you enjoyed it uh you want to know whether, just be able to do another half hour, I wonder whether frequent half hours are effective at one hour. Yes, the answer is yes. Tony is asking whether a half hour of exercise is as effective as an hour. So you know what the answer to that is? Any exercise for any time at all is effective. Okay, so even if you are still in a lockdown, you can go out and walk around the block for five minutes that is going to make a difference, okay? Because the minute you start moving and walking, your heart rate goes up, your metabolism lifts, and you're starting to burn energy, burn calories, all right? So from that point of view, yes, any exercise is good. And I think, Tony, for a lot of people, I'm finding anyway, it's trying to get an hour of their day to exercise is quite difficult for some people. Um, so getting a half hour in where you can is great. Like lots of people do this and then sign off and go off to work, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yes, in short, any exercise is good, but 30 minutes, it's great. I mean, 30 minutes, your heart rate is up. I know mine was, my heart rate is still up actually, because I'm wearing my Fitbit. I can say it's, it's heart rate is still up. And I can see that I burnt a fair amount of calories as well today. So I'm very pleased about that. 800 calories, that's not bad, is it? So very good. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Legs like jelly, Linda. Okay. Pat Dilworth, hello. Challenging. Yes. So quite a lot of people have felt that in their knees because it was a toughie on the knees. So again, don't forget to go and watch my new video coming out next week. I'm going to have to sign off now. I really, really appreciate you all being here and you're all watching. Thank you so much for today. I'm going to have to go because I've got to go now and edit the films so I can get them all up on YouTube so you can watch it and do it again next week. So I will be here next week, same time, 10 o'clock. I will be doing Pilates next week. I will get that up on the channel so it won't be standing next week. We'll be doing our more traditional Pilates work. I'm going to have a think about what we're going to do. All right. So don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and I needed to say, if you're still with me, have you got one of these? Do you know what this is? It's a resistance band. Do you have one of these? You might have one in this color. You might have one in purple. You might even have one in blue. All right. If you've got one, let me know uh, because I'm thinking that in two weeks I will do a resistance band Pilates for our YouTube. But I wanted to give you time to get one. These aren't expensive. They're like between, in Britain, they're between five and eight pounds, something like that. You can get them on all kinds of places, Amazon, etc. If you're in England, there's a place called Pilates Mad. Uh, which sells them, but we'll do a resistance band class in two weeks, okay? So that gives you time to order one if you're still with me. All right, lovely. Uh, here we go. I am going to sign off, and I can see Kerwin still chatting to people, which is wonderful. Keisha, you want to know how old I am? Oh, Kerwin's told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my 50s. Do you want to know how old exactly I am? I am 56. That's how old I am, 56. Yeah, and I'm very proud of it. And I am going to keep going and I'm going to keep moving until 
I can't move anymore. So there we go. That's, that's my words of wisdom for today. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, all of you. I really appreciate you coming every week. I will see you again next week at the same time. All right, so take care of yourselves. Until then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.